Six. Six. Great. So be sure to feel free to have a little lay down. Should I take this off? Uh, no, we're just going to go, yeah, we won't be taking any bites. Um, so you can actually be on your stomach. Um, and do we have our equipment? So we know our clam shells there. Um, where's our first aid Okay, do we have a collar over there as well? Okay, so let's make sure we have all our things. Scores. A, B, D. Fire ladies. Yeah. And oxygen. Oh, we've got our empty tank there. Okay. So, uh, let's say your patient here uh, was struck and thrown uh, at the crosswalk outside by a car, and I'm arriving, um, we'll say you're my partner, everyone else is fire. And so going through our scene survey, um, there's no hazards, let's say traffic's been stopped, environment is exactly what's outside today, very lucky. Um, mechanism, uh, this car was going, let's say about 40, and so we had a pretty good, decent hit, um, throwing about six feet. Uh, one patient, I've got my partner and a crew of fire with me. Um, I'm happy with that for now, but if ALS is available, <laughs> that'd be great too. Um, does everyone have their barriers on? Cool. Uh, condition of patient is kind of a sound. On her stomach, um, I don't see any bleeding anywhere, uh, but I do know that we have a spinal mechanism. So, um, Strawn, if I can get you to the head when we approach. Sure. Um, but yeah, it will start with that. Does that sound good? Okay, cool. So we're just going to go right from the top, and as I find things, I'll let you know and delegate what it is I need. Okay, so I'll get you the head um, to take spine for me. Okay. I'm going to go to my patient. Hi, my name is Nana Can you hear me? And you just be filled up. <laughs> Let's say we've got no response and no response to pain. I'm going to come in right away and feel for pulse. And I do have a pulse, um, and I do see that she's breathing, so we're good to do a spinal roll here. Before I do that, I'm just going to quickly check the back. I don't find anything. Um, cool, so what we'll do is a quick roll here. Okay, can I get a transition? Yeah. Okay, I've got the head. Okay. Uh, okay, okay. okay, whenever you're in. Okay, on three. One, two, three. So change And I'm back on. And one, two, three. Uh, oh wait, sorry, no, my hands underneath. Uh, where do I go? My hands are sides. Oh. It was like, <laughs> like a slow. Yeah. Okay, sweet. And I've got it. Okay, so now that we've moved our patient, I'm going to reassess ABCs. Um, just making sure it's still unresponsive. So, can you take a jaw press for me? Mm -hmm. Reassessing breathing and pulse for 10 seconds. Would I just drop my hands from where they were after holding? Yeah. Okay. Yeah, that would okay. okay, so I've got a good strong carotid pulse and I've got easy and effective breathing. I'll just start with RBS. Uh, nothing on the head. Shoulders are good. Sternum is stable. Um, I'm feeling equal chest res. Um, soft times four. And let's have done the unstable pelvis. Can we stabilizing the pelvis yeah. then? Okay. Um, so this is good here. And let's say finally deformity right here. So I'm gonna cut and expose. Um, but I see a little bit of deformity and bruising. Can I stabilize them just above and below that for me, please? Oh no, are these socks? Oh. <laughs> Cutting the compression saw off. Um, let's say I find a distal pulse. <laughs> uh, coming down the other leg here, I feel another deformity, so I'm going to cut and expose. Do you want to manually stabilize the bone below that for me, please? Coming down the leg, I'm going to take this sock and shoe off. Um, let's say we've got a pulse. Okay, um, arms. Can't forget the arms. So looking for any signs of drug use, medical alert for you, since I don't see anything. Same on this side. Okay. Um, skin, I'm feeling feel cool, clammy. 
Um, can we get a PS code two on there for me? And can we also grab the airway address bag for me as well? And the section. Okay, so because my patient's unresponsive, I'm going to try inserting an OPA when I'm going to get to the SPO2 one. Okay, I've got my section ready. <coughs> I'm going to insert. We'll say that goes in. Um, SPO2, uh, let's say he's not reading, but because I'm suspecting shock in this patient, can you apply hypooxygen on a non rebreather for me? Um, patient positioning is going to remain supine. <laughs> and transport decision is going to be rapid transport fire. Can you go by the center? Okay, so <coughs> we've got a full trauma package here. Um, so what I will do first is, uh, can I get you to tie the toes together, Fanny? Because we're going to find a pelvic here. <coughs> <laughs> Great, and once you've got those toes tied, um, can you start zapping the legs together? Yes, I can. Perfect. Okay, if you can hold that there. Awesome. 
Um, so you guys at the legs, if I need to, um, to help get her onto the clamshell. <coughs> and it's not, I'm going to keep you at the head while they put the clamshell on. Come back up to it. I can't really hold it. So. Do you need a, oh yeah, no, no job No, I just yet. can't really, so I just have to yeah, stay hands on. Yeah, closely okay. monitor and let me know if you need a transition grip so that they can buckle. Uh, yeah, okay. I think that would be Is there anything wrong with doing a like a, a hold from a cross-legged position? Yeah. That's where I'm most you can, you can I'm more comfortable. How how do we do yeah. that? Heads turn space. Oh yeah, if someone uh buckles the head. Uh, you good? Okay. Um so we're gonna do a little bit of a for real life. Yeah. <laughs> Stretch over, put the head at 30 degrees. You don't have to do it right now, though. But oh, just I see. Like that's for delegation. Yep. Yeah. Yep. Awesome. Because potential head injury. Yeah. Or uh, no, uh, all full tra trauma is 30 degrees. Oh. Yeah. So what would you okay. get to do? Sorry. Just grab the stretcher. Uh, oh. Get it right beside, ready to put the clamshell on. Would you keep oxygen on the whole time? Yes. Yeah. Um. Okay. Cool. We'll call it there. <laughs> Yay! Um, so something I wanted to like really point out with that is I had a task for each one. As soon as you were done, I had something else for you to do because this type of patient we want to be on scene as quick as possible. Uh, so just keeping things moving forward, I had to step back and just make sure everything was going well or looking like it was going good. Um, but yeah, any questions on that? Would you ever use a bystander for any of this? Or not if I have these resources. If you yeah. Don't really no, not unless so there's if there's someone running up being like, "Hey, I've got my work available. Can I help?" I don't know. Can you move the head? But it's up to you. It's really up to you. It's better to do it slow, take time. Yeah, um, as quick as possible. That way, the crowd will be. 